Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Brain and Butter Vids YouTube. In today's episode, we are going to be building a vending machine. And I use this vending machine for logic because I have so many logical components laying around everywhere on my base, so I like keeping them all nice and handy in an area where I can easily access them. Anyways, let's get right into the tutorial of how to build this vending machine. Okay, what you're going to need for this build is one floor. Two short smooth walls, two posts, two 1x4 wedges, 32 small tiles, four straight conveyors, 20 wires, five levers, one button, six AND gates, two signal sustains, and five hatches. You're also going to need a hole that is 4x4 four four stud and is one stud above the ground. Then 13 studs away, you're going to have two more holes. The first one, two studs off the ground, three studs by four studs, then one stud higher, another three stud by four stud hole. That's all you're going to need. Okay, to start off the tutorial, you're going to take your floor and put it down just like so. After you place your floor, you're going to want to take a short smooth wall and turn it so that it can fit in here and you're going to slide it into the hole. So now you should only have a two by four stud hole. And you're going to do the same thing with the other hole. Once you've completed that, you are going to grab a conveyor. So let's just and put it like this. So centered with this um, smooth wall here. And then you're going to take another conveyor and put the same spot except at the other uh, piece of ice wood that you place. And make sure they're both pointing in this direction. Next, you're going to grab another conveyor and slide it right next to the conveyors you've placed already. Make sure that all the conveyors are nice and flush with each other. You're going to do the same thing for the top row. Now, once you've completed that, you're going to grab a 1x4 wedge. And what you're going to do is place this 1x4 wedge like so. So it's one stud above this floor here. So it's one stud higher than the floor. And then you're going to take a post and fill in that one stud gap with the post. So just pull it in like that. So then you have a flush uh, wedge into this area and you're just gonna copy that onto the other side. And now once you complete it on both sides, what you're going to do is grab some of these small tiles and you're going to place them right here. So grab your first small tile and you're going to want to place it right there in the middle of this small floor. And you'll notice that it's going more to this side. Like it's placed, it's not in the middle, it's more to this side. So what you're going to do is grab another small tile and place it next to it. Next to the other small tile. Like so. So it's right in the middle of this short smooth wall. And then, with that simple pattern, you're going to put smooth tiles all the way back to here. 
And now once you've completed that, you're going to grab another small tile, bring it around front here, and you're going to place it right next to the wall here. So this one is kind of hard to place, so you might just might need to get another blueprint in here. So then you can actually place the actual small tile in there. And now a crucial step is making sure that one of the logical components can actually fit in that space. Just grab one, and yep, it fits. That's what you want. And now you're just going to run another line of small tiles all the way back, just like you did for the middle. Anyways, once you've completed that, you're going to copy this wall of tiles onto this wall. Once you've completed that, you're going to copy everything here onto the top conveyor. And now, once you've completed the same thing on both the levels, it is time to get into the logical side of things. The first thing you're going to want to do is take one of your hatches and rotate it like so. Then go into your design here and place it sideways just like this. And then you're going to do the same thing, but on the second level. And now, once you've completed the exact same thing on both the sides, it is time to work on your activation system. And now, what you're going to want to do is take all of your levers and line them all up on this wall. So, you're going to have one lever about here-ish, and then that lever... And depending on how many conveyors we did, I did four, so we have four slots. So one, two, three, four items, four slots, just like so. And now, on the opposite side of those levers, you're going to add some more levers. And these are your last two levers, you're going to put one about here again it doesn't really matter where you place them i just like placing them in these areas it just works better but anyways you're going to place both of those there and then your magic button that's going to control everything right here and just like that that is your system but now we need to get wires running from here to the inside so what we're going to do is do some glitching if you don't know how to do that, you just reload your slot, and while it's loading in, you press move and be on the blueprint. So when your base is loading in, you just want to go over here, move B, move B, just like that, just two moves, and that's it. You finished that step. So next up is you're going to take your two signal sustains. And I recommend placing them about here. So you're going to put one signal sustain there. And then the other signal sustain there. And one signal sustain you want at two. The other one you want at four. And this is going to be adjusted depending on how long you want or how laggy your base is. Basically, one of these is going to give you one item. The second one is going to dispense two items. So now your next step is going to be taking an AND gate and you're going to place it right there and then you're going to take another AND gate on top of that, another one on top of that, and a fourth AND gate on top of that. And then with all the, the wires you have, you're going to wire it up so that each lever corresponds to an AND gate. So, and now once you've wired up each lever to one of the sides of the AND gate, you're going to take the other sides of the AND gate and you're going to wire up those wires from here to your signal sustains. So basically you're going to take a wire and run it from one of these AND gates around here and into the signal sustain like so. Now, once you've attached all those four wires up to the signal sustain, 
you're going to want to go back over to this side to these two levers and you're going to want to take these two AND gates and you're going to want to run the AND gates straight into the signal sustains like so. And then you're going to wire up the levers to the AND gates like so and then you're also going to take another wire from the button to the other side of the AND gate so that is over here on the other side and just do that with the other lever and the same button and now just to make sure it works what you can do is flick one lever having a bit of lag but anyways you flip one lever and then push the button and what should happen is you should get a pulse and a sustain that is good and now if you flip the other lever you should get a pulse and a sustain and you should even get flashing from there so that is all good Next, you're going to take a wire and take it from whichever uh, lever you want. Basically, now you're going to be running all of your wires into hatches. So, for example, this wire is going to the far hatch. And now the final step is to take one, your last wire. You should have a couple extra ones, but take a wire and attach it from that signal sustain to that signal sustain. And just like that, your system should be pretty much working. Basically, to load the, into the slots, you just go like that, and we'll just start rolling down. And then you can do this again, and load everything up. And here is our polished up design, and of course, you can also add your door by simply putting a pressure plate and a ladder. I'm not or a hatch. I'm not going to do that right now. But this is your design, and for the sake of things, I didn't really add. I only add three slots of stuff. So basically, uh, what you do is you'd have the item actually displayed here. So let's say, oh, I want one of that item and some of that item, and I want uh, one of each. Then you hit the button, and this is the order button. So our order now we have, and yeah, basically you'll have all your items. And so if you have any errors, contact me either on my Discord or via Roblox. All the links are on screen now and in the description. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Rainbow to Read YouTube. If you have, please me. If you have, make sure to like, subscribe, and share. It helps me out a lot. I am currently away, and by the time this video is coming out, I'm about halfway through my vacation so by the time I get back I have another video coming out of these things and you don't want to know what these are yet because it's kind of crazy kind of stupid then again that's my channel hope you enjoyed today's video goodbye